Hey guys, what is going on? I thought I'd make a really helpful guide for you guys on how to actually use the green screen um, on Halo 4 in Forge Island and make a cool video out of it. So what you want to do is go to Forge, go to Forge Island uh, and then start the game up like I'm showing right now. And then once you're in, you want to open up the Forge menu, uh, go to Structure, go to Forge Island, then go to Green Screen. And you want to make like a green screen setting like I'm doing. So you want a back, you want like a back wall, uh, a floor and two side walls, maybe a roof. Um, but these are the things you really need to make it work properly. You need a floor, a back wall, and two side walls, as I'm showing here. Uh, and then once you've put these things in, you just want to go inside the green screen, record what, uh, just do whatever you want. So say if you want a mantis walking around, just walk around inside the green screen with a mantis, uh, or just go and like shoot the BR a bit, or do whatever you want to do inside the green screen. Uh, then end the game, and then you want to go to theater mode and actually record what you did um, at a decent angle, at an angle that you think is right. Uh, and then I'm going to move on to the video editing software now and show you guys what to do to make it fit into a backdrop. Okay then, so once you've got all your clips sorted um, and recorded and on your PC, you want to then get a backdrop clip or picture, uh, which is what I've got here. This is literally just a really short film clip that I recorded of my desk uh, and me in the background. So basically this is like a backdrop or picture that your Spartans are going to run on uh, or run in front of when you eventually delete the green. Uh, it's nothing amazing, but it's just something that looks good when you have it in the background. Okay, so once you've got that, uh, you want to drag and drop all the clips that you recorded into Sony Vegas. Uh, I've already done that uh, with a clip and kind of cut it up a bit uh, into like highlighted bits. Uh, going to just enable that there. So as you can see here, I've just got a Spartan firing a incineration cannon uh, at the floor to create some nice little like bouncy effects. Um, so it looks like the bullets are bouncing off my desk. Okay, so what we're going to do once you've got that is find the clip that you want to green screen uh, or remove the green from. So, for instance, this one. And then you want to go to the event effects at the end and then you'll get a little window pop up. Once you get that window, you want to go to Sony Chroma Key, Click that and then click add. Go to OK. And then you'll get this little window. This might be a pop up window for you. I've just dragged it into Sony Vega so it looks nicer. Um, and then you'll see color. Uh, where, it, where the blue is, you want to select the blue and then click the eyedropper tool. Click the green. And then that should delete the whole green. Um, although it does look a bit weird. Uh, the spot on does look a bit weird and blurry. You can play around with that. Like, as you can see there, it looks a bit weird. You can play around with the thresholds to make it look like it fits more. Um, I think that looks alright. You just play around with them until you get something that suits what you want. Um, and you can also play around with the blur. But I don't really... You don't really want to use that because it doesn't look very good. Okay, so once you've done that, that should literally be it. You can play around with it as much as you want, um, get some really cool effects going on. I'm just going to show you guys show you guys again really quick here. Um, I have a Spartan firing an incineration cannon again. Uh, let's do it with a bigger clip. Do it with a sniper. Okay, so you select the event effects. You go to Sony Chroma Key. You go to Add. Go to OK. And then you select the colour. You select the green with the eyedropper tool. It deletes the background, and then you play with a low threshold and high threshold until it looks right and suits, uh, suits your background. Uh, you can get some really cool things going on with this. Um, so just try this, guys. Um, if you make a really cool one that you're proud of, then submit it as a video response, and I'll check it out and maybe give it a like if I enjoyed it. So thanks a lot for watching this video, guys. I hope you liked it. Please leave a like if you enjoyed uh, and if you found this useful. I know a lot of people want to make machinimas and aren't really sure how. Uh, and this green screen was a really cool new addition that 343 had um, in uh, in Forge Island. So thanks for watching again, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. If you're new, uh, then subscribe. I do loads of cool Halo videos that you guys will really enjoy. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Peace.